Hey, what's up, you guys? I pray that you guys are continuing to persevere as always. Um, I'm Pastor Everett, lead pastor of Persevering Word Church here in the Fort Worth, uh, Fort Worth Texas area. And um, I want to do a brief recap um, uh, from our message series, uh, Painkillers. Um, I've been teaching this series for about three weeks. And it's a series that's designed to show us that pain is not always bad. Uh, pain is a teaching tool that God uses to push us closer to him. And so I'm praying that this will uh, bless you in a great way um, and also to, sh to, get, to give us some nuggets on how to handle pain and deal with pain uh, because pain is something that we all experience, but we all handle it in different ways. And we want to make sure that we are handling painful situations in a way that pleases God and also in a way that points us closer to God. Because just because we experience pain, you guys, is not always detrimental. Uh, it's not always tragic. Uh, pain is a teaching tool that helps us handle life's experiences. And so we want to make sure that we are using that in the correct way. And so today's uh, message, uh, you guys, that I spoke about earlier earlier in our church it was necessary pain. Necessary pain. Certain pain is necessary. And it's important that we handle that in a in the correct way. So those painful issues that are necessary, they points us closer and move moves us closer to God. And so a passage I was in two passages passages of scripture this morning. Uh, it was in Hebrews 12 and 11 and also Job 6 and 10. And so uh, you can bookmark that and go back and take it, take take your time and read that at your leisure. Uh, Hebrews 12 and 11. I was reading from the New Living Translation and also Job 6 and 10. Um, I'm not going to go over all of this. Just a brief recap. You can go back and look at those scriptures, but I'm going to read a few and give you a few points, a few nuggets from what we talked about this morning. Uh, Hebrews 12 and 11 says, no discipline is, is enjoyable while it, while it is happening. It's painful. Yes, it is. But afterwards, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. A uh, point to that is, uh, when discipline is respected, pain goes away. See, when you can respect what discipline is, then your pain is not as painful because you're gaining wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because that's what discipline does. When, you, when you're willing to discipline yourself in God, then you don't experience as much pain. And then you learn from the painful experiences because you are disciplined by God in those areas. Oftentimes, God is wanting to impart in us some discipline so we can be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And he's also wanting to transform our mindset and how we think and go about our daily business. So we do understand that discipline is not enjoyable while it is happening, but it's beneficial. And once we understand the value of being disciplined, those painful situations, those painful things are not as painful. Uh, so let's make sure that we are disciplining ourselves and then allowing God to discipline us to be better at his word and also in his character. Job 6 and 10 says it like this, you guys. This is an attitude that we must have in regards, in regards to painful situations and facing necessary pain. Job says in Job 6 and 10 reads like this. It says, at least I can make comfort in this. Despite the pain, okay, despite the pain, I have not denied the words of the Holy One. And I got two points out of that. Allow pain to push you to God and not away from God, okay? Allow pain to push you to God and not away from God. And also, his word is not painful, it's powerful. Understand that his word is not painful, it's powerful. But you have to lean and lean and depend upon his word. Because when you lean and depend and understand that his word is powerful, not painful, then those painful situations will start to eliminate themselves because you understand the power that the word of God possesses. Um, I got to go, man. I pray that this will, this will bless you. Uh, um, I thank you guys for, um, sharing the videos, share, like, and subscribe, follow the church page, per, page, per, <laughs> my church page. It's Persevering Word Church. Uh, that's our Facebook page. You can also go to perseveringwordchurch.com. That's the website. Uh, follow me, man, on Facebook at Pastor Everett or Everett Smith. And uh, come and check me out, man. Come check us out. If you're in the Fort Worth, Texas area, Keller, Saginaw, uh, North Fort Worth, uh, White Settlement, if you're in those areas, 
Come check us out, man. Persevering Word is a pers per Persevering Word Church is a place where you don't have to pretend to be perfect, and we are we are, we are open arms to all who desire to love and have a love for Christ and be loved on and respected. So come and check us out, man. I uh, hope you have enjoyed the recap. Painkillers is a great series because it's showing us that pain is not always bad. God will show you how to handle your pain. Um, I got to go. I'm praying for you. You guys continue to pray for us that we can continue to persevere together uh, and always keep persevering because great things happen when you do. You guys be blessed. I will talk to you soon. Love you with the love of the Lord always.